Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 59th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we are going to check out a couple of commands and the first one is write. Now write is used to communicate with other users on the system. And there are a couple of conditions that you must satisfy before using write command. And the first one is that the recipient user must be logged in. And if the user isn't logged in, then an error message will be displayed. And the second condition is that the recipient user must have enabled message reception, right? So if you are a user and if you do not want to be bothered by other users, you can just disable message reception and uh, nobody but the super user will be able to communicate with you, right? So that makes sense. Both conditions make sense. And uh, now let's see how write works. So I have uh, one terminal window and I'll open another one. And in one of these windows, I'll log in with the only other user account I have on my system. And that belongs to the user new user too. And uh, I'll type in the username first and then the password. And uh, there you go. I see the prompt. And in the first terminal window, let me clear the screen for this one first. In the first terminal window, I'll type in write. That's the name of the command. And then follow it up with the space. And then type in the username of the user with which I wish to communicate. So it's going to be new user2 for this example. And uh, you see the message new user2 has messages disabled. So, you know, in the other window, what you would have to do is you have to type in MESG that can be thought of as a short form for message. And then just type in the alphabet Y, right? When you press the enter key, you don't see any message. But now in this window, if you would execute the write command again, then you would see that the cursor blinks on the next line and you no longer have the dollar prompt. And in the other window, you would see that a message is displayed, that message from, uh, you know, so-and-so user and, uh, you know, the terminal ID of the, you know, user uh, who's trying to communicate is this. And, uh, you know, this was the time at which the write command was executed, right? And in this window, I can type in my message now. You know, let me just type in a few sentences. Hey, what's up? And uh, I should have send an email instead, right? And uh, you would notice that when I press the enter key, the message is displayed on the other user's terminal. And once I'm done typing, I just have to press control D and my prompt will be returned back to me. And in the other terminal, you would see that you see the characters EOF, which uh, mean end of file. And, uh, you know, that's the end of the message basically and in order to get the prompt back you have to press any key so i'll press the enter key and i'll get my prompt back right so write was the first command that we had to check out the other command is finger and finger allows you to see you know the users who have logged in and that you can obviously do using who but you know finger also tells you which users have uh, you know given you the permission to connect to them and which users have disabled message reception so if in this window I type in finger and press the enter key, you would see the users who've logged in and uh, mother, that's myself, and then new user two has logged in. And then you would see the names uh, of the users, you know, the common field in the password file in the EDC folder that is, and then you would see the terminal IDs and uh, you would also see the login time, right? But, you know, Finger shows an asterisk mark against the users who've uh, disabled message reception. But in this case, since both the users uh, are connected to each other and new user two has enabled message reception, you're not seeing an asterisk mark. But if in this window, I type in MESG, forward up with a space and then type in the alphabet N and press the entry key. And then if in this window, let me clear the screen first, if I execute the finger command, then you would see an asterisk symbol next to the terminal ID of, uh, you know, the user new user two, and this star or the asterisk symbol indicates that the user new user two has disabled message reception. So, you know, that's it. These are the two commands I wanted to discuss in this tutorial. I hope you guys had fun watching. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe to my channel.